Hello and welcome to the Sunday Afternoon Modular. In this video we're gonna play around a little with the FM functionality of the Electrosmith 3340 analog VCO. This VCO comes with a reissue of the classic CEM3340 chip that rose to fame in synthesizers from Moog, Oberheim and Roland. The Electrosmith VCO is capable of linear FM and exponential FM. But what is frequency modulation? Basically the frequency is being modulated so goes up and down in pitch. We have a carrier signal which is here the sine wave that the Electrosmith VCO produces and the signal for modulating the frequency of the carrier signal. In this video I use the sine wave signal from the Themisto VCO. We now feed the signal from the Themisto VCO to either the LFM or the XFM input of the Electrosmith VCO. LFM stands for linear frequency modulation, XFM for exponential frequency modulation. The picture shows what linear and exponential means. In our musical case here it is important to know that exponential frequency modulation goes out of tune as soon as you increase the modulation depth. Linear frequency modulation stays in tune if not being too strong modulated. The higher the carrier signal is tuned, the more you are able to modulate until it starts to detune. Of course a lot of times these detuned effects are exactly what we want. You can also create bell-like sounds with frequency modulation. In the video we will see linear frequency modulation as well as exponential frequency modulation. I will change the modulation depth and I will change the tuning of the carrier as well as of the modulation signal, so you get a feel what it's all about. Alright, let's start!
Alright, that was it. I hope that video could show you a bit what frequency modulation is about and gave you a good starting point for your own FM adventures. If you like my videos and want to support me and my small channel, leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos to come. Thank you and see you next time on the...